Hi everyone, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is actually a new video and a new uh, part ng playlist that I'm trying to build up uh, na talagang specifically for college entrance test exams. Now, this is different from my usual content na pang civil service exam kasi hindi naman to lumalabas sa, sa civil service exam kasi walang science sa civil service exam. But if you're taking yung LET or licensure exam for teachers, if you're taking OPCAT, PUPSET, ASET, or any of these mga college entrance tests, or if you want to get into science high school, this may be helpful for you guys. And today, we're going to talk about a topic na laging lumalabas sa test uh, since time in memoriam, panahon pa namin, panahon pa ng mga before sa amin, lumalabas na yung ganitong klaseng tanong. And the reason why I want to talk to you about this is because not all schools cover this in class. Bakit? Kasi hindi lahat ng mga schools merong chemistry labs. Hindi lahat ng schools merong enough equipment to actually see this and learn this firsthand. And when I took the test sa Science High School and I took the test sa OPCAT, nagkaroon ako ng difficulty with this topic kasi hindi ko siya matandaan. And the reason why I couldn't remember it is because I never experienced it. And that is the reason why I wanted to talk to you about it. Para makover niya siya. And we are going to talk about yung mga litmus tests. Now, bakit? Seemingly parang basic niya siya very very specific siya but really <laughs> mayroon na kung siguro na 80% mayroong 80% chance na may tanong na lalabas na ganito sa exam ninyo okay uh, yung 80 nga yung conservative ba yun pero usually talaga mayroong at least one question na ganito so I want you to understand this concept and in order for me to explain that better I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how I'll see you in a bit all right, let's talk about acids and bases. Actually, yung litmus paper test. And I'm going to talk to you about this kasi lagi siya lumalabas sa exam. And I also know that there are schools out there na hindi ito napag-uusapan kasi walang enough na chemistry equipment. So, hindi nyo pa nakita siya talaga actually firsthand. Now, if you're one of those people, it's great for you to focus on this kasi nga may possibility siya talaga lumabas sa mga college entrance exams. Lalo na sa chemistry section. Okay? So, let's talk about uh, red list, litmus paper first. Ngayon, ang litmus paper is actually used to find out kung ano yung pH level ng isang bagay. Kung kunyari, acidic siya or basic siya or neutral siya. Now, when, we start, when you start out with red litmus paper, pag sinawsaw mo siya sa isang, uh, sabihin natin, liquid, kung ano yung color na mangyayari after mo siyang tanggalin doon sa liquid na yun, that will determine kung yung pinagsawsawan mo is acid, basic, or neutral, or whatever that is. Na kung nag-start out ka with a red, red litmus paper, sinawsaw mo siya, tapos walang nangyari, if there's no change, then ibig sabihin nun, it's an acid. Again, red, at natatiling red, acid. Red, red, acid. Okay? Now, if for example naman you start out with a red litmus paper, Tapos, anong nangyari? After mo siyang dinip, nag-change siya into blue. Okay? So, kung red, blue, that means that yung pinagsasawan mo is basic or alkaline. Okay? O basically, a base. Alright? So, again, if you start out with red, walang nagbago, acid siya. Kung red, naging blue, then ibig sabihin nun, basic siya or alkaline siya. Ngayon, ang litmus paper also comes in blue. Ibig sabihin, blue ang color ng litmus paper na isasawsaw mo. Kung nagsimula ka sa blue na litmus paper, sinawsaw mo siya, tapos dahan-dahan naging red siya. Kung naging red siya, ibig sabihin yung pinagsawsawan mo is an acid. Again, if you start out with blue, change to red, acid. Okay? Pag ang end product mo lagi is red, that means yung pinagsawsawan mo is an acid. Kung nag-start out ka naman with blue, Tapos, pag sawsaw mo, it's changed into purple. Kung ang blue naging purple, it means na ang pinagsawsawan mo is neutral. Ang neutral would be water. Uh, ibig sabihin na nasa gitna siya, it's neither basic nor acidic. Okay? So, again, blue litmus paper, pag sinawsaw mo, naging purple, neutral. Okay? Ngayon, kung ang blue naman, sinawsaw mo siya, naging white. Okay? Blue, white, it means Ang pinagsawsawan mo or ang um, gas na uh, ex kung saan siya exposed is chlorine. Okay? So, th these are just the colors that you have to remember. Blue, red, acid. Blue, purple, neutral. Blue, white, chlorine. Okay? Now, what are the other things that you need to remember regarding this? For example, okay, if we have a line right here, meron kang acid and base. When we talk about our pH level, Okay? Ang pH level mo uh, ng acid, 
And ang base, okay, is uh, like this, okay? Ang, ang uh, acid is always lower than 7 at ang base naman is higher than 7. Yan. Yung gitna right here, this is the actual 7. Pag lower than 7, that is acidic. Pag higher than 7, that is basic. Ngayon, ano ngayon yung 7 na yan? Again, this is yung neutral point mo or for example, yung water. Okay? Ang water is neutral. Okay? Ngayon, what are the component com, uh, what are the properties of acids and base? Pag ang pH level again less than 7 acid, greater than 7 that is base. Kung if it tastes sour, then it's acidic. If it tastes bitter, it's basic or alkaline. Now, how do you remember that quicker? Eh, kasi nga naman, di ba, if you drink suka or vinegar, that's an acid, it tastes sour. Pag basic naman, it tastes, <coughs> sorry, bitter. Acid can be corrosive, ibig sabihin masakit sa, sa skin, okay? Not all the time, but ganun yun, uh, that happens. And I want you to have a mental picture of this. Kasi uh, association or mental pictures can help you better remember stuff. Um, another, one way of uh, killing goats, okay, kwento sa, sa akin ng mga tita ko, one way of killing goats eh, in the province is pinapainom nila ng suka or pinapainom nila ng suka. And the reason for that is kasi para yung goat would die from, uh, uh, sorry, medyo morbid, ha, pero that's just how it is. Para, ma para madali niya siya matandaan. It's a memory tool. So they make them drink suka para yung kanyang internal organs or yung kanyang uh, basically uh, windpipe would be blown. Uh, kasi nga, ang acid is corrosive, it's destructive. Ang base naman, it's slippery in nature. Okay? So, if it's slippery, probably also base. Okay? Bakit? Kasi there are questions in the exam that could uh, give you parang blind item kung isang, ang isang bagay acidic or basic. It's described sa inyo. Okay? Kung ano siya. If it turns litmus paper, uh, blue litmus paper, red, what is it? Is it acidic or basic? Yung mga ganon. So, these are things that you have to remember. Para pagdating sa mga ganong klaseng tanong, hindi ka masyadong mahihirapan. Now, give me, I'll give you some memory aids. These are things that also help me remember this concept, no? Ang memory aids natin is this. Pakibasa, if you are really, if you are watching this, read this with me. It says, blue bitter base. Blue bitter base. Madaling tandaan kasi it starts with the letter B. That's it, blue bitter base. Kasi ang base is, uh, uh, it turns red litmus paper into blue. It's bitter, ang taste niya, and siya ay base. Sa red naman, red yaki acid. Kasi, it turns blue litmus paper to red. It turns red paper into, well, red pa rin. No change. And yaki, kasi yung ating yaki, di ba? Super asim. Yun yung lasa niya, maasim, acid. Okay? Red, yaki acid, or red, asim, acid. Whatever is better for you to remember it. Alright? I hope that helps. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag -e exam din sila. And as always, if you want to know as soon as new video posts, click subscribe, hit the bell icon para ma-notify kayo pag ready na siya. And if you want to reach out to me directly, go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. There is an UPCAT review um, day. So, uh, ang gracious at ang bait talaga ng Horizon Ministries led by Pastor Manrik Tan Pascual and si Pastoria Miles who... Uh, they were actually the ones who opened the door for us earlier this year for the civil service exam na basically free um, materials na babayaran 50 pesos lang and uh, pinagamit na na yung venue at nagbigay pa sila ng merienda for all the students nung time na yon. and they are willing to open their doors again for us for all of you guys so if you're in senior high school and you're planning to take the UPCAT uh, this October 2017 then you are qualified to attend that review event. It's going to be held in Cubao. Uh, there's no exact address pa. I'm still working on that uh, right now, but the date is fixed. So, on date that is October 14, 2017. If you're interested, make sure that you like the Facebook page para malaman nyo as, soon as yung uh, post yung mga details and yung map and yung venue and everything like that. So, they are opening their doors to us. They're, you can, uh, they can handle at least, they can handle up to 300 plus students. So if you want, if you're interested, make sure that you follow and uh, you register pag open na natin yung registration. Alright, so I'm excited about that so I can show you all of these tips live. And I'll see you, I hope, I'll hopefully see you there. 
If not, I'm going to make more videos like this. So if you enjoyed this or you found this helpful, make sure that you like this. Comment below if you have request na mga topics that I need to talk about. That way, I'll prioritize it before your exam. So thank you guys for watching. God bless. Aja, aja, kaya niyan. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.